creepy Clyde here. Hey, hey, where have you been? Great to see you again. Hey, uh, I did a series of cartoons called The Crawling Hand, and uh, this one is called The Crawling Hand, a bunch of baloney, and I hope you enjoy it. Melvin, you don't have to do this crawling hand. I get it. Ha! Melvin? Yes? How many hands do you have? One, two. <laughs> Roll the cartoon. <laughs> well, let's see what the old menu has to say here. Uh, see if there's anything uh, that looks halfway decent on this uh, menu here. Hmm. Hey, old timer. Did you read the story in today's newspaper about how someone saw a crawling hand last night? Not more than two blocks from where you and I are sitting right now? Yeah, I read it. So what? That's a bunch of baloney. Newspaper companies will print anything these days just to sell more newspapers. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's a bunch of baloney. Here's your baloney sandwich. Baloney sandwich? It's time for another Creepy Clyde cartoon. Yes, it is time. Melvin. Um, Melvin. Melvin. Melvin, you're sitting on my coffin. Rolf! Rolf! Bring to me my greatest creation. Formula 13. Ah, thank you, Rolf. <laughs> the infamous liquid that turns ordinary human beings into the living dead. <laughs> A powerful zombie potion, but also very, very dangerous if shaken up. Be very careful not to drop it, Rolf. <laughs> I'm telling you, that stuff could blow up like a bomb. Professor von Waldhausen, do you hear something strange? It sounds like scratching. Listen. Hach du lieber. Yes, I see it. It's going out the door. It's a crawling hand. A what? Rolf? <laughs> Rolf, you idiot. There was that whole episode with the sink. You said you were going to fix the sink. You never fixed the sink. It took you two weeks just to try and make up some sort of, you know what I'm talking about, the drain cleaner. You said, oh, yeah, I'll make a drain cleaner. It's a lovely restaurant experience. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. This is almost inedible. You know what else is almost in something? You. You're almost in something. You're in my face every day. You know what? You couldn't fix the sink. We wouldn't have to be here eating right now, spending money we don't have if you had just fixed the sink. Two weeks I've been waiting for you to fix the sink. And another thing I'm waiting for you to fix, why don't you fix that comb over? When are you going to get the other direction going on? I want to see the side of your head for a change. I want to know your brain is working. Gentlemen. Has this ever happened to you? Turn that Hellcat into a catatonic kitten with just one spray. Homemade drain cleaner and dead dogs don't mix. They're all over the ceiling. I can't fix that either. Formulated in our special Haitian laboratory located in Toronto. 
Zombie! Zombie! Just one spray of the Zombie, and then just sit back and enjoy your day. Zombie by Zomco. Available in stores now. And coming soon, Zombie for men and Zombie juice for kids. Hello, my friends. Creepy Clyde here with another Creepy Clyde cartoon. The Adventures of the Detroit Tombstone Club. Attention shoppers, uh, we apologize for the real zombie on the loose in the store this evening. Uh, it was last seen in aisle five. Uh, local authorities are on the way. Uh, thank you for shopping uh, Halloween Party Supplies, your Halloween Party Supply Store. Cool. Hello, my friends. I am a creepy client. <coughs> Welcome to another creepy client cartoon. This one is entitled Dracula's Castle. Come with me to Dracula's Castle tonight. Come on, let's go to Dracula's Castle tonight. The party starts when the sun goes down, and you look great in your scarlet gown tonight. Oh, baby, tonight We'll see all our favorite monsters there Champagne glasses filled with blood everywhere Come with me to Dracula's castle tonight Come on, let's go to Dracula's castle tonight Party starts when the sun goes down, and you look great in your scarlet gown tonight. Oh, baby, tonight. Welcome back to Nightmare Cinema. Melvin, you look terrible. You've got dark circles under your eyes. What's up, buddy? I can't sleep, Creepy Clyde. Why? Because a monster lives under my bed. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, that's bad for you, but good for you. <laughs> because that's the name of the cartoon we're going to show right now. A monster lives under my bed. <laughs> Get some rest, Melvin. Okay. Not now. Watch the cartoon first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My boss said, Clyde, you need some rest You look run down, you seem so stressed I told him why I look half dead A monster lives under my bed The guys at work think I'm insane A story like mine, they say, is all in my brain I tell them it's not all in my head a monster lives under my bed And when the night has started to fall I just don't need a nightlight at all Because its eyes, they glow so red A monster lives under my bed The monster growls all through the night and I'm too tired to put up a fight It makes less noise when it's well fed A monster lives under my bed The next door neighbor told me to stop Quit making noise or she'll call a cop It's not my fault is what I said A monster lives under my bed Under my bed 
under my bed Oh, under my bed A monster lives under my bed Back to Wasp Woman in a sec. But first, let's do a Creepy Clyde cartoon. I'm Creepy Clyde, Wolfman Mac's buddy, and I'd like to present to you a cartoon about, oh, the trepidations of a vampire like myself who has lost his fangs. <sighs> this cartoon is entitled Bloodthirsty Vampire. Witch, without a broom, like a hungry ghoul, without a tomb, like a mean werewolf, without the claws, like an old dead mummy, without the gauze, like a bat trying to fly, without the fangs. I'm a bloodthirsty vampire, without the fangs. <clears throat> like a ghost, you see, without a glow. Like a giant reptile without a Tokyo. Like an alien without a giant brain. Like a spooky knife without the rain. Like a cool guitar without the strings. I'm a bloodthirsty vampire without the fangs. <clears throat> like a mad scientist without a lab. Like a mortuary. Without a slab, like a demon, without a crazy eyes, like saying boo, with no surprise, like a bat trying to fly, without the wings, I'm a bloodthirsty vampire, without the fangs. <clears throat> Creepy Clyde here, with a question. Are you feeling like life has passed you by? That you're no longer as young as you used to be? That you're no longer attractive? <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> but now there's a solution to all your problems with this <laughs> Royal Wasp Jelly. Yes, with a few applications, you'll be younger in no time. Royal Wasp Jelly will make even the oldest crone into a youthful beauty. So go to your local mad scientist and get your own jar of Royal Wasp Jelly. Its side effects include headaches, transmutation into a monster, homicidal tendencies, cannibalism, transformation from guinea pigs into rats, uh, and uh, diarrhea. Next Friends. In our Friends, Monday at 7 on My TV 20. With Melvin. You know, Melvin, they say you're never too old to learn. And a young boy like you, naive little schoolboy such as yourself, you know, uh, should try to get to know as much as you can know in your little brain, your, your funny, funny little brain. You should be like a dry little sponge, soaking in knowledge. Well, this cartoon is entitled, What Detroit Didn't Know. August 26th, 1977, 10.43 p.m. I'm Wayne Count, his sheriff, Gus McAllister, just attended a special secret meeting at the Detroit City County Building. Detroit City officials want to avoid a widespread panic, but that's just what they're gonna get if the public finds out that on this night, zombies have risen from the grave and are attacking Detroiters. 10.58 p.m. On the way to my assigned post from the city county building, I encountered two dozen zombies stumbling and staggering at the corner of McGraw and Cecil off I-94. Using my gun and rifle, I shot each one in the head. Situation contained. 
11.26 p.m. It's a hot, uncomfortable night in the upper 90s, and I just got a good workout shooting another pack of zombies in the head, all of them staggering around Corktown. In this heat, zombie brain smells something awful. 11.58 p.m. Just finished dinner. Three conies with extra onions. Large order of fries. Received a call from dispatch that Detroit scientists have solved the situation. And the public never knew. Situation contained. I have rigged this subatomic transistorized mega death ray to fire once Wolfman Mac opens a projection booth door. Then it will be he who ruses face. <laughs> will Wolfman Max survive the subatomic transistorized whatchamacallit? Will Pony Bob ever escape the clutches of the sinister Siamese socket to me? Will I ever get a better job my mother will be proud of? Tune in next week, Wolf Pack. Same wolf time, same wolf channel. On my TV 20. A Clyde cartoon. This one's entitled The Old Man from Kalamazoo. Once was an old man from Kalamazoo Who everyone knew by the pumpkins he grew The orangest color, the biggest around The best looking pumpkins in town When offered some money, the old man said no He gave them away one by one, row by row And everyone thanked him and took home their gift A pumpkin they barely could lift and one Halloween something happened so strange And no one knows why on this night things would change A black cat jumped out of each pumpkin with fright When folks tried to carve them that night With scratching and clawing each cat had a fit All tearing the furniture up bit by bit And in every house that those pumpkins were at Each family tossed out the cat and no one would hear from that old man again He ran out of town like the quickest of men And no one would ever in time run into The old man from Kalamazoo Welcome back to Wolfman Max Nightmare Cinema Uh, Melvin, over here I thought this show, we'd let you pick the cartoon. Go ahead, Melvin, pick a cartoon. Any creepy client cartoon, pick it, go ahead. I want to see Monster. Oh, I would love it if you would be the one, this show, to choose what cartoon we'll show to everybody out there in TV 20 land. I want to see Monster. Oh, I would love it, Melvin, if you would just make up your mind and just spit out any title of a cartoon in the vast catalog of Creepy Clyde's uh, cartoons, the bottomless well, the vast library. Just please, make up your mind. I want to see Monster Friends. Monster Friends. What a wonderful choice. Ladies and gentlemen, Creepy Clyde cartoon, <gasps> Monster Friends. I got monster friends and monster pals, monster guys and monster gals. I got monster friends, a great big gang. Dogs go crazy, man, whenever we sang. A knock, knock, knocking on my front door. It's the hunchback. Hey, what do you say, Igor? Says time to go to the cemetery now. I'll be doing the driving, because I know how. The graveyard is the only place to be. The older the better, now take it from me. The monsters are having such a groovy time. Some in the trees, just for the climb. 
talk about the times we had in the past. Hey! The time is going by a little too fast. Hey! We're kicking out the tunes and having a blast hey! all night long. We sing this song. I got monster friends and monster pals, monster guys and monster gals. I got monster friends, a great big gang. Dogs go crazy, man, whenever we sang. These creatures are on crazy group. They're cool but drool, some slimy goop. There's monster women and monster men. They dance around the tombstones again and again. They tell you a joke and they croak and they poke. Hey! They give you the eye and they fly to the sky. Hey! They play with the cats and the bats and the rats. Hey! Collecting the bones nobody owns. Look at the wolf man howling in the night. Look at the witches flying like a kite. Look at the body trying to find a head. Look at the ghoul, he's digging up the dead. I got monster friends and monster pals, monster guys and monster gals. I got monster friends, a great big gang. Dogs go crazy, man, whenever we sang. So grab yourself a mask at the costume store. Something real scary, full of blood and gore. Drop by the cemetery late at night. Act like a monster and you'll be all right. I got monster friends and monster pals. Monster guys and monster gals. I got monster friends. A great big gang. Dogs go crazy, man, whenever we sang. I got monster friends and monster pals. Monster guys and monster gals. I got monster friends. A great big gang. Dogs go crazy, man, whenever we sang. Hello, my friends. Creepy Clyde here with another Creepy Clyde cartoon. A Madame Nina. Yes, Creepy Clyde. Do you believe in ghosts? Of course I believe in ghosts. Don't we, Madam? Yes. Well, then you should enjoy this next cartoon. It's entitled, Singing Those Motown Songs. Mm. Do you like music? I love music. Well, I feel like Cher. Gypsies, trap, and thieves. Uh, roll the cartoon quick. If you walk the streets of Detroit, late, late, late at night, you might see a group of ghosts on the corner singing those Motown songs. All they want to do is sing those tunes. They don't want to do no wrong. Just a group of cool ghosts on the corner singing those Motown songs. Singing those Motown songs. Singing those Motown songs. Hello, my friends. Creepy Clyde here with another Creepy Clyde cartoon. Let it be known that on this night, we, the family of Harvey Zakur, light the candle as he had instructed on the one year anniversary of his death. Let it also be known that we join hands and assemble for a seance with the hope of communicating with his spirit from the great beyond. Let it also be known that none of us will get a dime from his will unless we sit through this stupid seance. Shush. None of us here liked the guy, but we could all use the money. Harvey Zakur, the most successful novelty shop owner Detroit has ever seen. Can you hear us? Yes, it is I, Harvey Zakur, back from the dead. Inventor of the hot pepper joke gum, electric shock hand buzzer, and fake vomit. I will now share with you my secret invention. The Exploding Candle. Hey, Wolfpack, for more Creepy Clyde, go to Creepy Clyde's website right here and order his CDs right now.